all about Uranus. Uranus, seventh planet from the Sun, rotates at a nearly 90-degree angle from the plane of its orbit. This unique tilt makes Uranus appear to spin on its side. Uranus is made of water, methane, and ammonia fluids above a small rocky center. Its atmosphere is made of hydrogen and helium like Jupiter and Saturn, but it also has methane. The methane makes Uranus blue. Uranus also has faint rings. The inner rings are narrow and dark. The outer rings are brightly colored and easier to see. Like Venus, Uranus rotates in the opposite direction as most other planets. And unlike any other planet, Uranus rotates on its side. Structure and surface. Uranus is surrounded by a set of 13 rings. Uranus is an ice giant, instead of a gas giant. It is mostly made of flowing icy materials above a solid core. Uranus has a thick atmosphere made of methane, hydrogen, and helium. Uranus is the only planet that spins on its side. Uranus spins the opposite direction as Earth and most other planets. Time on Uranus. One day on Uranus lasts a little over 17 hours, 17 hours and 14 minutes to be exact. One year on Uranus is the same as 84 years on Earth. That's a long time to wait for a birthday cake. Uranus's neighbors. Uranus has 27 known moons. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. That means Saturn and Neptune are Uranus's neighboring planets. Quick history. Uranus was discovered in 1781 by William Herschel in Great Britain. Uranus has only been visited by Voyager 2. All about the Sun. The Sun holds the solar system together, keeping everything, from the biggest planets to the smallest debris, in its orbit. A star is a hot, glowing ball of gas. When you look up in the night sky, you can see countless twinkling stars. Can you see any stars during the daytime? Of course. The light of daytime comes from our closest star, the Sun. Just how close is the Sun to Earth? Way, way closer than other stars, but still pretty far away. It's approximately 93 million miles away from Earth. That's 400 times farther than the distance between Earth and the Moon. However, it's a good thing that Earth isn't too close to the Sun. If we were too close, it would be way too hot to live here. The Sun's surface is very hot, and its atmosphere is even hotter. And the Sun's core is the hottest part of all, at a sizzling 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Our Sun is about 100 times wider than Earth, but it is just an average-sized star. Astronomers have found some stars that are 100 times bigger than the Sun and others that are 10 times smaller. The Sun is also right in the middle of its life cycle. Right now, our Sun is in a stage called Yellow Dwarf. It is about 4.5 billion years old. In another 5 billion years the Sun will become a big, cool star called a red giant. A few billion years after that, it will become a small white dwarf star. It will shrink to around the same size as Earth, but it will weigh 20,000 times more. But even though our Sun is kind of an ordinary star, there are also a few things that make our Sun quite special. For example, we can't live without the Sun. Life on Earth depends on the Sun. Here are just a few reasons why. The Sun's gravity holds our entire solar system together. Our solar system is even named after the Sun, the Latin word for Sun is, Sol. Heat from the Sun makes Earth warm enough to live on. Without light from the Sun, there would be no plants or animals, and, therefore, no food and we wouldn't exist. Heat and light might be important for life on Earth, but the Sun sends other stuff, too. The Sun sends lots of other energy and small particles toward Earth. Earth's protective magnetic field and atmosphere shields us from most of the energy and particles. 
But sometimes a big stream of these particles reaches Earth and interacts with the gases at the outer edge of our atmosphere. This causes streams of light in the sky, called auroras, the Sun's neighbors. In our solar system, the closest planet to the Sun is Mercury. Our Sun's closest star neighbor is called Proxima Centauri. It is approximately four light years away. What does the Sun look like? First of all, you should never look directly at the sun without very special protective eyewear. But NASA has many great pictures of the sun for you to look at. Scientists use telescopes with filters to capture images of the sun. These images help us learn about our star. The photo below was taken by a NASA spacecraft called the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Have any spacecraft visited the sun? A spacecraft would easily burn up if it tried to fly into the sun. However, NASA's Parker Solar Probe is flying closer than any other robotic explorer ever has. It will be flying inside the sun's atmosphere, or corona. This spacecraft will help us learn more about how the sun works and how solar activity starts. This helps us to be more prepared. More fun facts about the sun. The sun goes through ups and downs in activity like solar flares. It gets more active with more sunspots and then less active over a period of 11 years. This is called the solar cycle. The sun has been getting slowly brighter since it was born. A couple of billions of years ago, the sun was a little dimmer than it is now. The sun contains almost all of the material in our solar system. 99% of it. All the planets, asteroids and comets add up to less than 1% of the total. The sun is so far away that it takes light about 8 minutes and 20 seconds for it to get to us, and light is the fastest thing in the universe. All about Pluto. Pluto is a complex world of ice mountains and frozen plains. Once considered the ninth planet, Pluto is the best known of a new class of worlds called dwarf planets. Why is Pluto not a planet? Pluto is categorized as a dwarf planet. In 2006, Pluto was categorized with three other objects in the solar system that are about the same small size as Pluto, Ceres, Makemake and Eris. These objects, along with Pluto, are much smaller than the other planets. Which sentence best describes Pluto? Pluto, king of the ice dwarfs. Pluto is actually closer to the Sun than Neptune for about 8% of its orbit. Pluto is just one of many icy objects in a distant area of our solar system. Pluto and its large, orbiting companion object Charon, are tipped on their sides. All of the above. Well, just pick the answer you like best, because they are all true. Pluto is a dwarf planet that lies in the Kuiper Belt. It's an area full of icy bodies and other dwarf planets at the edge of our solar system. Because Pluto is the biggest known object in this region, some call it, King of the Kuiper Belt. One thing is certain, Pluto and its neighborhood are very peculiar. If scientists could unravel some of their mysteries, we would know more about how our solar system form. More fun facts about Pluto. Pluto is only about half the width of the United States. Charon is about half the size of Pluto. Charon is the largest moon compared to the body it orbits, whether planet or dwarf planet, of any moon in the solar system. Almost all the planets travel around the sun in nearly perfect circles. But Pluto does not. It takes an oval-shaped path with the Sun nowhere near its center. What's more, its path is quite tilted from the nice, orderly plane where all the planets orbit. Mercury has a slightly lopsided orbit, although not nearly so much as Pluto's.